It's ACU football's homecoming game of the 2015 season at Shotwell Stadium. The Wildcats are undefeated at home so far and 2-2 two and two in the conference, while the Bearcats are 3-1 and one in the conference with their only loss to Lamar University. Here's Daniel Zapata with more. With James Network Sports, I'm Sharon Murawski. After a two-game road trip, the Wildcats returned to Shotwell Stadium for their 2015 homecoming game against the number 11th ranked FCS team in the nation, Sam Houston State. It didn't take long, however, for the Bearcats to get things rolling as the flea flicker goes for 64 yards and gives Sam Houston the early lead after less than two minutes of play. After an ACU interception, Sam Houston continued their offensive explosion in the first quarter with a nine-yard pass for a touchdown to go up 14-zip. The Bearcats would find the end zone again in the first quarter, capping off an 81-yard drive lasting less than 90 seconds to go up 21 to nothing. To finish off ACU's nightmare first quarter, Sam Houston would fake the kick and reach the end zone on the nine-yard run to quiet the Cats at 28 to nothing. Over their last three games, ACU has given up an average of over 17 points in the first quarter. Freshman quarterback Dallas Seeley would lead the offense down the field, ending the 11-play 80-yard drive with a rushing touchdown to put the Cats on the board in the second quarter. Seeley finished the game with 92 yards through the air, 17 rushing yards, and a touchdown. On the next Sam Houston drive, the Wildcats defense was able to force a three and out as a tip pass from junior Josh Bloom forced the punt and shifted the momentum to ACU. The Wildcats unfortunately wouldn't be able to do anything with it as they headed into halftime trailing 35-7. The Bearcats picked things up where they left off in the second half, completing this 10-yard pass for a touchdown early in the third quarter. Touchdown, State. The Wildcat offense would find more success in the second half as junior running back Adrian Duncan scores from 14 yards out for ACU's second touchdown of the game. Duncan led all ACU rushers with 41 yards on six carries. Junior quarterback Parker McKenzie struggled through most of this one, but was able to find junior Carl Whitley for a 50-yard connection that would move ACU into Sam Houston territory in the fourth quarter. The Wildcats would wrap things up with a seven-yard touchdown pass from freshman Cody Ennis to senior Jamie Walker. ACU moves to two and three in conference with their first home loss of the season. You know, the first thing you do uh, in a situation like that is you look across the field and you tip your hat because that's a quality team. We were better than we played, and I'm, I'm extremely disappointed uh, in the fact that we didn't, we didn't play well. It wasn't even a real football game in the first half. And, uh, and when you don't play well against a team, you know, against a team like that, you make them look like the Green Bay Packers. They played better than us. Uh, they executed better than us. And, and by and large, they probably coached better than us. They, we, we, uh, I don't know that they showed us things that we did not anticipate. Uh, but man, we sure didn't handle some of that stuff very well. Parker made a couple of made a couple of bad decisions, and he, we were getting some heat. We knew we were getting some heat as far as their pass rush, and and Dallas can can handle that a little bit better. Uh, they started cleaning up their rushing lanes a little bit. You could see there in the fourth quarter, which gave Dallas some issues. You know, at times we'll need him to get out of a mess, you know, protection-wise. And we didn't do very many option things with him today. We ran him a little bit, but. Uh, you know, by and large, it, it, we're going to go to him if we're getting if we're getting a little peak and 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 we feel like Parker can't get out of there, uh, then we'll use Dallas a little bit like we did today.